details of the firefighting systems as explained in index we shall be discussing the automatic sprinkler systems what you see here a pictorial assembly of the whole systems in the oncoming slides we shall be explaining the type of sprinkler systems generally the sprinkler systems are wet pipe system dry pipe systems deluge systems pre-action systems antifreeze systems and high rise building wet pipe system is self explanatory the system always remain charged with the waters dry pipe systems the main system after the control valve are not having water those are charged with the air because wherever the chances of freezing of water is there these systems are applied reduce system is the open sprinklers or open nozzle system which discharges water after opening of the deluge valve being the open nozzles there is no water and the water remain pressurized till the deluge valve and the deluge valve are operated either by the smoke detector signal or heat detector signal or it can be operated manually pre action systems are used where there are chances of a false signals or the fast signals anti freeze systems as we said the system is charged with the anti freeze water in high rise systems now this system has the different applications because of the construction of super high rise buildings these are the pictorial view or the assemblies showing the different kind of systems this is the composite system which is showing the assembly this is the control valve these are the pipings and these are the sprinklers and this is the system control valve with the alarm control valve and this is evolve to isolate the systems dry pipe system as we explained that the water is charged up to here and these are charged with the air pre action system this take the signal instead of this before auxiliary detection systems locate fire or smoke or heat because as you see these glass bulb type sprinklers will discharge water only when the rated temperature are reached and deluge system as we can see from here up to this the system is charged and there is no water and the sprinklers are or nozzles are installed 
with the open nozzles. So only after opening this wall, the water will flow. Type of sprinklers. The type of sprinklers are also known or classified according to its mechanism that is feasible element and the glass plume sprinklers. What is feasible element? Feasible elements are the biometric connections which are temperature rated and shall melt when the treated temperature is reached. Similarly, the glass bulb sprinklers The application for the sprinklers are as per the type of discharge which is used only the conventional sprinklers and the spray sprinklers. The spray sprinklers are generally the open sprinklers, those are used to cool the surfaces or sometimes the application with the high spray, high water spray systems. According to the mounting pattern, the sprinklers are pendant type, upright type, sidewall, recessed, flush and the concealed sprinklers. These are also shown actually in the oncoming slides. The pictures where you can visualize how those looks like. And the sprinklers type for the special applications are the extended coverage sprinklers extra large orifice sprinklers, large drop sprinklers, early suppression sprinklers, intermediate level or rec. This type of sprinklers are used for the special applications like storage areas, different kind of a surfaces, etc etc these are the some of the pictures which we had explained and these are the type of sprinklers when we say standard sprinklers these are the generally standard sprinklers early suppression and fastest are not shown here. Now this is the bimetallic which we are talking. The connection, I mean bimetallic connections and related with the temperatures. How the sprinklers are arranged the sprinkler systems. The four types of sprinkler systems are generally used for the purpose of firefighting system design. The number one as we are seeing over here is a tree system. This is explained over here. Tree systems is like having a trunk branches and the leaves same way in any direction we can arrange our sprinklers with certain design restrictions those are generally that any branch should not have more than 80 sprinklers it will be further details when we come 
in the part we shall be discussing the design part of the sprinkler systems. This is explanatory picture that how the tree systems sprinklers are arranged. This is the loop system. You can see a loop. This is the loop of the pipe and from where the branches are taken. And the other way the sprinklers are arranged is the grid system. These are the grid you can see and how the sprinklers are arranged over there. And this one is known as the bird case system. You can say this is in the sprinkler arrangement in the form of a cage. The best example of this you can see over here a transformer is actually protected by a cage system having the high velocity water spray to extinguish the fire. What are the components of the sprinklers and the hydrant systems? Following are the components of the sprinkler and the hydrant system. Fire pumps with control panel, flow detectors and check valves, supply pipe, control wall, alarm check wall, water motor, alarm bell, main drain risers, etc. This you will see in the details and in the oncoming slide, the pictorial view of all these components. Some of the things what we have seen in the components are actually explained over here also. These are the say floor control wall, zone control wall we can say this is the way the sprinklers are mounted upright and dependent. Likewise this is the alarm control wall and the and that's the way the thing what we see in the next slide are the pictorial view of the components. See this is the wall. This type of wall is called OS and Y wall. That is mandatory as per the NFPA and the supervisory control that the people should not actually fiddle around with those things and in case something is fiddling it will produce the alarm. These are the post indicative walls means there is a wall, buried wall, it will show whether it is in a closed position or the open position. This is the wall in the secured position. This is the monitoring with the supervisory switch. These are the fire department connection. This type of fire department connection we are not using in India, but these are the requirement of the NFPA. Now in the next slide what we see over here, this is not known as water monitor and this is landing wall, these are generally provided at every landing of the floor connect with the hydrant systems and this is the fire brigade connection hoseries, hose cabinet this is orifice plate generally used for balancing the pressure in our oncoming parts 
we shall be discussing this in detail and these are the other part or the component of the systems which is the fire pumps the end suction pump end suction pump itself is self explanatory that it has the suction at the end and the discharge over here this is the split case pump this pump can be horizontal or vertical split so that the maintenance can be made in position without removing the pump this is the inline pump these are used when certain available pressures are there or the established lines are there and we have to take the water to boost the pressure as per the design requirement these are vertical turbine pumps in india we are generally not using it because it's very expensive but as per the nfpa it is mandatory and these are used where the positive suction is not available this is the multi stage vertical pump generally it is used for boosting the pressure or maintaining the pressure and this is the diesel engine operated pump this is the engine and this is the pump this is the multi stage multi outlet pump now as the super high rise buildings are there in the different stages and different pressures can be supplied from the different outlets this pump is usually used as a jockey pump means to maintain the system pressure in the line 24 hours and the small leakage can be made up from here this is our end of part 2 thank you very much for